he'll be recognized. Yeah. Right. But then everyone else. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't know. It's a good question, right? It's a very I don't know. Yeah. But, but yes. Uh, welcome. <laughs> yes, well, um, welcome. Yes. Welcome to the Vampire Guys. Um, we're your hosts, the Nerd Z and Delphi. Del- what is your name these days? Uh, Del Najiro. Del Najiro. I keep calling you Del Feach in my mind. Like, that's, that's what which is mean. which is fine, but don't <laughs> but, uh, don't you dare say it. Um, but <laughs> but uh, Del Najiro. Um. <laughs> and but yes. And big shout out to our other hosts, uh, Jay Hunterville. In- Jay- and, and spirito. I don't yeah. know how you spell that. No, that sounds more Japanese, not Spanish. <laughs> but in uh, spirit, spirito, oh, spirito. Um, that does sound more Japanese. Who is in? Um, I don't want to say the exact location, but he's somewhere in cent- Central America. Yeah. Yeah. He's somewhere in Central America. Yes. Uh, doing the Lord's work. Yes, he is. And uh, hopefully, he makes a safe return back. Um, it has some interesting tales. To tell not only you guys that are watching, but mm-hmm. us as well. Yes, and he probably won't be calling in tonight. Maybe, maybe because of course that is a he is currently looking for Wi-Fi. So yeah, that's um <laughs> we need to look for Wi-Fi. That is a crazy time. Now, how are you? Uh, <laughs> how are you? How are you this week? I am good. I mean. Uh, on a surface level, I'm great. You know, I'm alive, I'm breathing, I'm oh. well, all that good stuff. On an internal level, I am still working some things out, figuring it all out. Okay, okay. That's okay. Break up tears, but you know. Break up tears? Yeah, but you know, it's okay. What is it? What does that we're, mean? We're here. Okay, well, that's. We're here. That might be off camera, but, um. <laughs> um. <laughs> Where do I go from here? <laughs> uh, what did I do this week? Yeah, what did and, you do? And um, nothing. But um, <laughs> but uh, I mean, just the, the regular it's adulting, man. Regular regular stuff, like that's what adulting does. Like it would have been, it would have been crazy if um, if TTC went on strike. <laughs> that would have been. Oh yeah. You know, yo, okay. Before I, before I, I tidbit into that. Yes. The only thing I did this week was like work for um work mm-hmm. um run errands and stuff like that mm-hmm. and um that's really about it like it's just it's just like yo like once you do this monday the friday thing yeah and then you blink your eyes and it's friday and you're yeah. like although it's good yeah it's like i gotta prepare for monday again again yeah, yeah. it's just yeah. like yo this is um it's intense yo it could be, yeah, it could, it could be intense. I'm not gonna lie. It's uh, intense and very. Ha- Lately, have you? <laughs> I'll just be because I, I stepped into the 30s like that, but have you, you take more naps lately? I don't take more naps, but I definitely have been feeling tired, like a lot earlier. So, really? like, bedtime seems to definitely be 10. Like, I am fighting myself. If I, if it's like ten thirty, I'm fighting. You're fighting it. I'm fighting. I'm yeah, like, that's, that's I'm like, me. I gotta do this. I just gotta finish this one thing, and my body's like, bitch, try me, try me, one more minute, and I'm gonna just turn the lights off right now. Like nah, that was <laughs> Saturday. I to like, <laughs> yo, and I was like one of these, and to quickly just make quickly, and then as soon as the head hit the pillow, bam. Yeah, out. And then all of a sudden yeah. you hear the bird singing. You're like, wait. I don't like how I wake up like early, like eight o'clock straight sometimes. Mm. Nine o'clock straight is cool. But like mm-hmm. eight o'clock straight is like, yo, I don't. Mm-hmm. I, I don't know, man. I, be, mm-hmm. I mean, nah, some days like when it's too much, like like uh, after like work or whatever, I just go home and I just go like this. Warm. I just wake up. <laughs> and it's just an hour past. I'm like, okay, I should be. Mm, good. But it got it got to a critical point. Um, this week, guys and gals, it was so intense this week mm-hmm. that when I bought something, I was on the train. 
For some reason, the train has the perfect temperature. Yeah. But as soon as I like got to my stop, I'm like, okay, I get up, walk up the stairs to the platform. Mm-hmm. And then as I'm waiting for the bus, I'm like, I bought barbecue sauce. I think I left it on the train. Yeah, someone's going to enjoy that. <laughs> <laughs> I bought groceries, like a little, like little one-two pickup yes. thing. I forgot it on, on the, the train. train. And I was just like, yo, this is not, That's this crazy. is not it. That's why you got to bag it. You got to, yo, underneath. So if you get up, it drops off it. You're like, oh, geez. Oh. That was crazy. <laughs> the realization, I was like, no, I just left it on. And for those who were writing that day, <laughs> you probably thought it was like, um, like some type of, um, I don't want to say explosive, <laughs> but <laughs> It would have been wild. Someone like people who were just watching me just get up and you just see it on the floor. And they look Leave at me. It there, yeah. And, 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 <laughs> yo, I bet I bet some of y'all were so confused that day. <laughs> You're like, wait, yeah. what's the? Not the whole train went out of service because you could eat on the next stop. That, like- no, that would have been. <laughs> yo, that would have been crazy. That would have been. Wow. No, nah, that would have been crazy. But that does happen. You know, as you get older, <laughs> it does happen. You're mine? Mm-hmm. Nah, man. I was just like, what? And it's the fact that you got all the way off the train, up the stairs, stood waiting for the bus, and it dawned on you Cause, then. Because I was holding my bag like this. And I'm like, where's my other bag? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. So you got to wrap that stuff. You funny funny enough, that, that, that woke me up too. Like, I was, I was kind of, and I, oh. Oh, oh, man, I wanted to, I wanted to try that. I wanted to stir fry something. I wanted to prepare to stir fry something, and it's, it's long gone now. I hear you. Somebody's enjoying that. <laughs> um, hopefully, you don't open the bottle and guzzle it down. It's not beer. But anyways, um, but other than that, it's, yeah, man, it's just, mm-mm-mm. That's funny. I mean, yeah. It's this week is. Adulting. I mean, I did do stuff this week. I mean, aside from my, like what I said earlier, but like I didn't do work. I worked all week. It was pretty good. Um, I also took, I had a little mini vacation. I almost mentioned a story. Huh. I, I'm not going to, I'm not going to mention the day it happened, but like for your sake, but yeah, like, yeah. so, so no, no one was, uh, unplugging equipment, man, N- but the Friday, like, Listen, wait, no, Friday. It happened again? No, nah, it didn't happen again. Oh, okay. But on Friday, I don't know what it was. Friday was raining in Toronto. Yes, yes so, it was. So yeah. For everybody who knows, it was pretty cool. Mind you, we are in June, okay? We are in June. I understand your frustrations as well. Jesus, it's June it already, too. It is cold in June yeah. this month. Everything just seems to be cold. The sun was shining, like, probably Tuesday, Wednesday this week. But then Friday... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's going on there. They turned on the weather weather machine for sure. That's because you know, first of all, we. <laughs> um, I don't know if we should be saying that <laughs> type of thing, but um. I'm just saying, but Friday it just said I felt like. But I will say this day they probably did turn it on because what what type of weather is this? <laughs> it was raining like crazy. It was on and off rain. It was cold. Like Dr- you could yo. not wear sandals. And it was not like, oh, it's hot outside and you, it's raining and you can still be okay. Nah, it was like, if that water touched you, it was Britain, no. you need the heater on right after. Like, if you get into your car, turn the heat on. Like, we are in June. Madness. Yeah, I, I'm not a fan of, like, drive-by rain. J- drive-by rain is, like, not a thing Madness. for me. That's, uh, that's a nah. <laughs> now, who, now, now, Friday, besides the weather, who was, was someone, like... Not one. Not okay. even two. Okay. It was the whole room, man. The whole room. A room. It was as if people got the memo. It was as if... This is what it was. <laughs> this is what it was. It was as if people got the memo about TTC not on strike. That they said, oh, let me take full advantage and go to the library. Like... <laughs> but, but, okay, but... And, like, get this stuff done. Okay, get okay, get stuff. Okay, okay, get stuff. Okay. Both rooms where I was stacked. Everybody to everything. No room available. People were basically walking on top of each other at this point. That's uh like it was stacked. 
That was one. Right. And that's not a problem. I love to see the space busy. I love to see the space full of people and like people are using the service and they're getting their stuff done. They're getting their creative endeavors um, complete. I love it. I love it. But when? What really got to me and my on my nerves and shout out to all the people in customer service. That's all. Uh, yeah. Holy because yo. you guys, you, you know, you understand. Shout out to the people who take care of other people. Yeah. Because um, you also understand. Shout out to the people who teach. Because again, you'll understand. Wow, the slap on the, the, <laughs> yeah, the, slap on the knee. What's about to happen? <laughs> it was the fact that somebody's asking for help. Or you ever get one a person who's like asking you for help. Right. You're the person who's, who understands, who knows the space. You're working, whatever, right? Okay, yeah. They come to you, they ask you a question. And as soon as you start to answer the question... They interject and tell you the answer. But then why would you ask me that if you know the answer? It's like it's like uh, someone threw the ball, bam, you knock it out the park, and then you run out and catch your own fly ball. Like why would you why would you have an outfielder? That, why why even have the team then? Why even have the team like why would, some people like to hear themselves talk. Yeah. Chat and bear shit. Now imagine like, being restrained to the desk uh, um, and having to deal with a conversation like this. Okay, okay, I see. <laughs> Not I, once. What I think, like, actually restrain. Okay, <laughs> ignore me. But but yeah, but yes. Not once. Not twice. But multiple times. <clears throat> and the same person doing it as is as a multiple offender of it. <laughs> a multiple offender is crazy. Yeah. That's a crazy way to say that. <laughs> they ask a question to answer their own question. They come back again to ask you another question to answer their question again. No shout out to this person. <laughs> I, don't, I like, don't like characters like that, man. Why are we occupying the space here like this why 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 even entertain me if you already can entertain yourself do you just want to make sure that you don't seem a little off because you're having your own conversation but see some people like i don't see like the audience like <laughs> they just want you engaged <laughs> no they, they no like, seriously like no like come on for those like, like yo like they they really want like engagement it's, it's just like wow you have to read my body language and realize that I'm not like on that type of timing. Like I don't. <laughs> I'm not talking to you. Like I'm not. Yeah. Like I don't. <laughs> I don't have time for this. Like, like this is like this is ridiculous, man. Yeah. So that was one of how many people that came into the space. And that day, like mind you, I was already irritable as it was, right? And I can admit that I was irritable. If okay. I wasn't irritable, maybe it wouldn't be so much. But okay, the temperament of the room. Nah, man. It was not it. Between that person, the another person who was really, really needy, like, and they didn't even try. Like, they're coming and they're like, like "Oh, I need help." And I'm like, what, "Okay, with cool." With the shaky voice. Yeah, I need help. And then it's like, okay. It's also one of those things where it's like they came and pushed it to me. And I was Can like, you let me like answer. Yeah, like, but it was the fact it was like they pushed it to me, and I was like, okay, so I can help you. <laughs> yo, what? <laughs> yo, like, yo, I don't. This is not something where I'm going to do it because you doing that, presenting it in front of me like that, help me. Right, like, no, you can help yourself. <laughs> you're going to do it you yo that is like telling someone like like they call for help and you're like i need two bags of soil and you're like you can't do two bags of soil you can't put them in your your car your trunk no you want you want you want to call another person to put that in but you already carried it here and said help me that's the crazy yo <laughs> that hold on that's the crazy part too that is it people <laughs> listen to, is that is that not crazy <laughs> like, 
Oh my god! Like what's what? happening? That was that. I'm telling you. So like, Yo. thinking of it, like the way the interactions were going, it was so demanding. Like it was so demanding, and I'm thinking to myself, like, nah, like this is too much. This is where I'm like, where's the camera? Cause yeah, okay, <laughs> so you, many people you, coming in here. You think that people. You, th- you thought it was a camera. I really thought. I really <laughs> thought someone, there was a camera. I thought there was, like, somebody coming and just trying something. Like, no. Like, the interactions on that Friday. You, you thought you were going to see yourself on TikTok. Just- Somewhere. Someone was waiting to see, like, an explosion on, like, somebody or something. Explosion like, on someone. That like, could be staff taken, is just upset. That could be taken multiple ways. An explosion on somebody. <laughs> Let me stop. Let me stop. But yes, that's um. Yeah, the Friday was it was testing my customer service skills for it was, sure. It was testing, testing, and like all my colleagues, they know. I come in there, I'm like smiling from ear to ear, like chipper. Could never ask anything. Is it like? like is it like when you say smiling ear to ear? Is it like the, some of the the YouTube thumbnails you see, which are a little exaggerated? <laughs> No, not exaggerate. Like I actually like my job. Okay, like, I okay. Really enjoy my job. <laughs> so they know that when I'm out there, it's like, you know, like it's a genuine like happiness that it is. Like I love being there. But like that day, no man. I said I don't know. I if I'm like this better be one in a blue moon type of days because yo, if that was a regular thing, you would have been walked out. I'm like I don't you, know. you you would you would have been like. Yeah, guys, look at this a second. Look over there. And <laughs> as they look over there, they look back and you're just, you're gone. Yeah, because that, to deal For with good. that, oh my gosh, is so much. Like, that. And that's what I was saying. Like, shout out to everybody who does customer service, who does, who works with people, who take care of people, who, you know, share all these things. Because there are moments where it's like your job is hard because of the amount of demandingness that people ask of you. The expectations are just so high. Right. And just like the level of like actual trying to do things or they come to you and they're like you watch them not without any effort or anything they just looked in their mind and said i can't do it and then just come to you and be like do that was a quick look yeah they looked looked in their mind and they didn't even not even effort effort. no trying no nothing the most illest thing i heard i wish i wrote it down and it's recorded who said it i swear people more people i swear people make the most money when they don't even see customers most think, when they don't see their customers yeah people make way more money when they don't see customers think about that guys and gals as you're mm. now certain jobs are like there's exceptions to the rule but most mm-hmm. of the time like when someone's not facing a customer they're kind of making a, a lot a more amount. money yeah that makes sense dealing with the public is just like yeah it's a chore <laughs> it's, a, it's a chore sometimes it's, it's like People have been saying it for years. It's like an adult kindergarten. Yeah. Yes. It's like. Yes. Yo, it's <laughs> adult kindergarten. Yeah. For those that are that are watching and everything. That's funny. But what? as you as you're talking about chores, um, there was this thing that came on Instagram where a woman was talking about relationships. Right. Um, and she was basically sharing her. Her experience being a nanny at one point of her life when she was younger. Oh, oh okay. That's, was that the one that they sent? She was a nanny. Yeah, for women who were like stay-at-home moms. Stay-at-home moms. Right. Wait, is this the same clip where it's... um? Maybe it's a different one I sent you. Ooh. Oh, there's another one. Oh, this is, okay. There's, Ooh. Oh, there's two. Ooh. Oh, oh, before you get into that, though, just yeah, a quick yeah. thing with... um. Oh, I mean, you did kind of mention the TTC thing. You didn't. Uh, oh, but, oh, this is this one. Right, right, right. Yes, yes, yes. I know which one I sent you guys. The only update I have to say for people that the TTC thing is, the strike's not over. It's on pause. It is. It is on pause. I don't know if a lot of people know that. It's it's not really, like, resolved yet. They're still kind of working it out. So It is on pause. If by the time you hear this pod, um, they just blink their eyes and say, you know, everybody off the bus, and you're, you're stranded on um, Finch somewhere. Just so you know, we 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 we, we warned you. <laughs> you warned we warned you about this. Now, so when I'm talking about as, as he prepares for the the clip, <clears throat> you, should, okay. 
You said it's a... Uh, oh, okay. You said so, it's, uh, the one that I was talking about was talking about this woman um, thing. But I do remember the one that I sent you guys about marriage. Yes. This one was... It's pretty long. Not long, but it's pretty long. Okay, this, this is new. But um, <clears throat> she does go through talking about her experiences of being uh, a nanny for a stay-at-home mom's. And again, I put quotes around stay-at-home moms because a lot of the stay-at-home moms, there's a perception and an idea of what people think or assume that stay-at-home moms do. Right. And of course, a lot of these ladies are like, oh, there's enough money. And it's like, why would you hire a nanny if you're going to stay at home? That doesn't make sense. Wait, you said it too fast. Slow down a second. <laughs> why would you hire? Okay. Why would you, why would hire? you hire a nanny if okay. you are going to stay at home? I mean, it gets the work two times done faster. <laughs> no well, uh, that's the thing right uh, okay uh, uh, I... so they would be oh, this me. <laughs> they would be parents <laughs> they would be like moms or whatever and deal with whatever's happening in the daytime with their kids and all that other stuff but they would still be in the house while the nanny's there as well right okay yeah that, that so kinda... she was questioning like what's the point like you're not actually leaving you're not away you know like why would you need like a stay up like why would you need a nanny you know i'm supposed to go left a second because this is the mood i'm in mm. um it could be a situation with uh what happened with um or it, actually i don't even have to say the actor really because he just it's just a situation where like like the nanny's there but then the the nanny could be there for like extra curricular oh, activities got you heard you and you know what it it it, it can't happen True, true, true. Right? True. Yeah. That All it be. takes is a day for, like, the husband to be home, or the wife, and uh, the nanny to be home, and then yeah. it just, it just, it, it just happens, yeah. That is true. That is, um. That is possible. But, uh, but, but don't listen to me, guys. Just, but, but anyways, um, <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> what is, so, okay, if you have the money. Yeah, so she was saying, like... So, basically, the end of it, or the short of it, was that she was talking about, like... The shorter than that is in the middle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what she was saying was that... Um, okay, I'll stop. Um, these women, even though they had nannies, they were actually working on their husband's businesses. Okay. Yes. And what she realized was that, she's like, would men go to the lengths of sacrificing their well-being if their wives were the ones who were the successful business owners mm. would they be the stay-at-home dads that is a thing that um not that men are i won't use the word try out but like mm -hmm. no there's there's definitely something that'll be like okay i'm gonna mm -hmm. pack it in stay home and everything mm -hmm. but um usually i don't i don't say usually but like some, there's a fight there's a fight not maybe it's just a fight but like sometimes Depends on the character mm -hmm. of the woman. Depends on the character. And the man. Mm -hmm. And the man. Sometimes she looks at him and be like, mm -hmm. at home? Mm. And then... Yeah, then the relationship goes askew. What the kind of... Okay, first of all, you stop. I'm going to back out of this. <laughs> you see, sometimes you can't let computers just run everything. Like, You see how it just, like, it just played automatically. And I had it on pause, too. <laughs> And a mind of its own. But anyways. Um, oh yeah, so she was just basically talking about, like, if the roles were reversed, would men sacrifice, essentially? And essentially um, saying that women do this all the time, especially these stay-at-home moms. They go from where they are in their jobs to go home and stay home to take care of the kids. Right. Right? And out of the two, even though the mother is the one who's like birthed them and is gone on maternity leave, they end up staying there. So it's like they don't actually return back to work. For yeah, for some, yeah. <laughs> yes. So it was like if the rules, you know, like that kind of stuff. And she was actually saying that like there was one where the husband and the wife so she actually was the breadwinner. Um, she was the lawyer. Okay. And uh she was the one who was maintaining and carrying the, the household okay uh she ended up funding her husband's um dream funding okay yes oh shit. and then he ended up getting his business his business started running up and then they had kids she went the business was running well 
she stayed at home and she was a stay at home mom. Okay. But then the thing is, she's working on the back on all his legal stuff. Right, because like it's a, if my wife right. was a lawyer, she's just right here. Right, but, right. But okay. allegedly, she's not on payroll. Not on payroll. Now I don't know if that's <clears throat> not on payroll, meaning um, they're trying to like, like go keep on it under table, the table, keep it on the table, or it's more like at the uh, like an attitude of like, well, you're my wife. What the, uh, you're supposed just to, do it, protect just, it. Just, just do, just do it. <laughs> I mean, I, I would definitely think to myself, like... Where's your, where's your cute self, right? Like, listen, if if you mess up, we mess up. Like, especially if you're the only reason why this money's coming in now. I mean, yeah. So I got to protect it at all costs. Right, all right. All assets. Yeah. All I mean, assets. That's... Ass. Yes. The, the, the emphasis on ass is, um... Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I gotta protect all ass sets. You know crazy? You're saying it repeatedly, but I'm like, I don't know if I'm catching the joke. Like, I catch the joke, but I don't... Maybe I'm catching it in a different way. Pause. No... D- <laughs> Pause? No diddy? What is it? I'm gonna say... You know you know what's crazy? Mm. No diddy is on... Uh, I don't know if people realize it. No diddy is on suspension right now because, like... People were like saying it as like a kiki thing, but when the video came up, people were like, "Oh, okay, that's." No, no. We're back to saying no. We're, we're, we're back to saying pause. pause. <laughs> no, no, no. This, it, once, once that video came out, kind of ah, confirmed everything. Kind of confirmed. Wait, everything. there's a video out. It's, it's the one we saw that we covered. Not the one with um, Cassie. No, that one. Oh, okay. Like meeting, like, like once people saw that type of yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, Ooh, no, that's, yeah, yeah. that's the alleged the allegations now can be very true we're getting very true right? yes yes yes. but never mind him now back to this this, this couple now okay paid not yeah. on paper yeah not on paper she's not on payroll she's the one managing all their legal affairs and a manager too that's crazy and she's doing all this stuff so yeah you could look at it as that that's your advisor for sure but then even an advisor would still be on paper Hmm. Right. If I could interview the couple, I'd I'd ask. Right. Why, like business decision wise? But that's interesting. It's the fact that to know that she was the breadwinner and just the the transition over, right? Right. She was the one who was taking care of him, and now he is taking care of her. But really, he's not really taking care of her because she's still taking care of him. Hmm. Hmm. And not getting paid for it. And not getting paid for it. I mean... Went from being paid and taking care of him to not getting paid. Not being paid and taking care of him. Let us, let us know in the comments <laughs> for those who are watching. Um, that's like a good question. Would you give up... Yeah. Actually, this is geared toward the, the woman in question. Yes. Um, would you give up your breadwinner role to take care of your kids when you end up having them and then fund your husband's dream? Mm-hmm. And then when the dream kicks off... And uh, income is coming in. He then has you under this like no payroll type of thing. I know it's a long ass question, but but yes. Mm-hmm. Would you use your breadwinner money to fund your husband's lifestyle and have your husband take care of you? That's this seems to be a very yeah. Mm-hmm. Seems to be a yeah. fair question to ask. Yeah. Let's say ask or ask. See, this is what you did. Ask. You said you kept saying ask. <laughs> multiple times and now you got me saying it this is, this is but crazy. the second one that we were talking about i know which one you were talking about no, the second, um, yeah not the- yes so the lady saying that she does not do her husband's laundry does the laundry would you tell me the comments were going wild but okay but everyone should okay you should be responsible for your own laundry though I was like an adult. But some people really argue that. Like, literally. Some people are arguing. Okay, argue. And what I mean. We're going to scroll. Some people are really arguing. Some people are going to get exposed. <laughs> I'm sorry. Because the reason being, I and I was saying this to my friend the other day, where I was uh, sharing with them. I'm like, you know, I think both sides, when we talk about relationships and we're talking about, like, women seem to be in this fallacy when it comes to marriage and being in a relationship and all these things. They think that a man's going to there perch them up in a nice life and whatever, etc. Right. Right. But I think also men do, too, have a fallacy of women when they get in when they get married. Women then become the domestic laborers and will care for everything about them, especially at home. 
Mm-hmm. Okay, so there's yeah. an understanding or an idea that they think that, oh, once I get married, there's going to be someone who's going to do my laundry for me. Hmm. Someone's going to cook for me. Someone's going to do this for me. All the things that's going to be at home, someone's going to do it for me because that's what my wife's for. But but we, okay, we referenced this before, but like, <clears throat> okay, unless you weren't um, single living, like, you should, I don't know, there should be training for you where you should already know how to cook, do your own laundry. Facts. Yeah. But some people also, their parents do all the work for them, even in their whole big hardback age. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, in their what? Their hard big Big back, yes. Big back. Hard back. Big back. Age. I think I, th- I think stick with hard back because big back is like exclusive for like eating very <laughs> delicious treats and foods. Um that you can put your hands and mouth on. Pause again. Now <laughs> now some of these comments, um I just wanna read like not all of them, but like Yes. So for those who don't know, there's this video. Where is it sourced from? By the way, I I cannot stand this thing on um I think social media where like someone's playing a, a video and like they record themselves listening to it, but like but that's it. They're just sitting and listening. They're just sitting and listening. I don't I don't I don't, I don't like that trend at all. Wow. Now if you know it's just so they can get some some clout. I know. If they're doing like journalistic thing, like they pause and they put their input, yes. that's cool. Yes. I look forward to that. But like when you're playing, mm. it's just a small pet peeve. So the POC therapist, that is what it was from. I'm sorry, who? POC, the POC therapist. And it was couples wait, therapist. Wait a minute, you're going to slow message. down. You're going to slow down this minute. Hold <laughs> on a second. A POC therapist. The POC. I guess person of color. So yes, for for those that don't know, what POC means person of color. Yes, but so if they chose a name like that, they're going for they're going for um, helping someone that is like POC. Mm-hmm. But the message is not from someone who is a POC. Yes, that's you're correct. The part you're correct. That's interesting. I mean, a message is still a message. Doesn't matter who it's coming from, but it's still a message. I'm gonna figure out a way to not. I'm gonna figure out something about that saying. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes you can look and be like, "Nah, I'm gonna hear the. I want to hear the message from that person." Oh, of course, we would not, love not, to hear not, it from not, that person. But mm. sometimes you can't shoot the messenger because the message is the message. Nah, man, I'm, I'm gonna figure out a way. I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna figure out a way to. to um, but yeah, you can figure that. But. So the POC therapist uh, had a video, POC and POC. it was. It basically says, um, couples therapist approves the message. Um, and it was, this is what intentional partnership and great example of what balance in a relationship looks like. So the woman says that she does not do her husband's laundry. Her husband does his laundry. She does not cook him dinner. Um, and she doesn't do something else. That's how she prefaced the video. She even insisted he cooks the dinner. Yes. He cooks the dinner. Um, so the being, she makes... She makes breakfast and lunch. He makes dinner. So I think that seems pretty balanced. You know, two out of three she's doing, you do one. I don't know if she shares a lot of that. I mean, that's just fair. Um, Once you get a rotation of, like, foods that you like, I mean, you just you just rotate it, like... Yeah, and that's like, it. L- like, lunch could be, like... Um, you, you could do, like, a... <laughs> you do, like a, like, a hot dog one day, a... a the ham and cheese sandwich or mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. broccoli, rice, and chicken or mm-hmm. like, I, was, I almost said ribeye. Don't do that. But that, that's more of a dinner thing. But yeah, like like tacos for lunch or whatever. That is true. Yeah. And I mean, lunch and breakfast can be elaborate. They could be having pancakes with bacon and eggs mm. um, with like waffles and all that stuff. We don't know the extent as to how far she's going, right? Overnight like, oats, oatmeal. Right. Caribbean household, you have some fry bakes and some salt fish. Now, for people saying, what what the, does fried bakes mean? Fr- like, right? Like, like baked, um... Oh, like, yeah. Like baked... They're like fried... I don't uh, say fried bread. It's not fried bread. It's, it's like, like a, a, so- a larger version of a Timbit, but not sweet. 
That's actually a good way to describe. Yeah, a larger yeah. version of Timbit, but not sweet. Yeah. Yeah. Like a, that's I, basically it. Okay, that's funny. And like, so yeah, take the sweetness <laughs> out of it. Someone's like, someone's like, I want my Timbit sweet. <laughs> I want my throat itching <laughs> and my teeth rattling. It better be sweet. <laughs> so that would be the best way to describe a bake. Um, okay. But yeah, like different households, yeah. Yeah. Breakfast can be elaborate. It's not to say that it's not elaborate, right? And to do it so early too. That's another thing. Like you're cooking very early in the morning and preparing a whole meal in the morning, too. right? And on top of it, lunch. So she has two out of three. Her husband does one. It's one. So when she was like, I don't do dinner for him. I don't cook dinner for him. That was hilarious. That was like, that's, that's a class trigger warning. <laughs> that's a big <yeah. laughs> Like, I love how she prefaced it. Like, I don't do my husband's, uh, I don't do dinner for my husband. No. He cooks it. He cooks dinner. Because I do breakfast and lunch. Like she, yeah, there's just like she had to like emphasize like, hey, like she's Right? It's not that she doesn't do any cooking. She does cook. But din- dinner can be fly. It could be like ribs, potato, beans. It could be Yeah. The... You're coming home and you're you have you're getting takeout. Pizza. Yep. Pe- come on. Yep. Pizza is like the cheat code of cheat mm-hmm. codes. And it could just simply be the way that it works out. Say for example, he's the one who has an earlier shift. Say his work um, schedule is like he leaves the house at eight. She might be up at like she might be up before that. She might be up at six. Like like and then she's five, getting six, yeah. yeah like seven o'clock. She gets food and everything ready, packs everything for everybody for lunch and school. So she's preparing everyone out. Right. So that's why she does breakfast and lunch, and then when he's done his shift, right, he might be finishing at like two three o'clock. That's way early enough to like come home and make dinner and then have dinner ready for seven. Right. And say her shift actually starts at 11. That's why she can afford to do the breakfast and everything and wake up really early. And she gets home by seven. When someone's there, dinner is available. Oh, she she could be one of those. um, Right. Like work from home. Yeah, it could be that too. So it's like all that. Or like she starts doing the errands in the midday, all these things. So it's like so many reasons behind why um that's working out for them as their relationship thing but it's just the fact that so many people probably were having like so many people were having issues i know for sure that one yeah. we're having issues like issues i i, I guess one of uh read the um, the first comment oh what did you get the the pin one oh. where it's like uh this video is yeah. very thought-provoking for me personally it made me think how do I approach my relationship? What? My relationship with my partner now and why which roles uh, have been instilled in my childhood and how that reflects into my relationship with my own man today. Very interesting. Mm. So this this person, um, Irina's, mm-hmm. it, it got her questioning, what do you call it? Gender norms. Yeah, gender norms. Mm-hmm. And like, oh, like who does what and everything. What's funny about it? it spoilers. It's been flip, it's been flip flopping. Like men used to no. Sometimes I think there was a time where men used to cook. Like men were always the cooks. Cook, this is yeah. The part like okay. Let me let me just put my phone down and really explain this to people like, because this stresses me out. That's, that's why like when someone some when some men them are like, oh my wife has to cook and everything. I'm just like, buddy, you should kind of should kind of know how to do that like uh, i mean okay first off l- laundry it's just you, 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 you throw your clothes in color to color white to white and then detergent softener i mean and then you put it on thing maybe if you have some delicates know what delicates are delicates yeah know which one like wool for example whether it's tumble or just hung dry like yeah <sighs> I, I mean i mean from a from a social standpoint men were always able to cook right i don't know what it is and maybe it's because or due to war that caused them to lose a lot of men in that area of time Mm. to attain that actual skill and because a lot of these men were not learning how to because they were at war other people had to make sure to find different ways to feed them and those who were on the front were then women right? right yeah so they had to now take care of home as well as labor 
to do and function everything. So I think when those people came back, like the men came back from war, a lot of women had a taste of now both sides. Right, yeah. Domestic as well as um, labor in the workforce. And when that became this whole, like, a woman is able to do it all, then created this ideology where it's like, well, why, why break it? It's working. Keep it going. Mm. So a lot of these men never learned because why would they? Which is, I mean... Mom's out at home. She's not at home to teach me because dad isn't home because he's away at war. Right. Mom's at, out at work. So why would I, how could I learn how to cook? Hey, man, you just have to thug it out. I, I, mean, I mean, especially in current day, you should have to thug it out and just start yep. starting TikTok. Just be like, how do I make that? Yeah. And then how do I make it well? Yeah. There's one thing, making it and making it well. That's, that's a whole. Yep. And on top of it, during that time too, that's when a lot of like um, conveniences and like fast food was also being presented. Oh, okay. So the industry like was definitely pushing more. Yeah. Because staying cooking at home was like not not a trend during that time as well. So there was definitely a heavy push of like um, capitalizing on eating out and I, like. I got a fryer that can hold 20 burgers. Yep. Go to McDougal's. Yep. McDougal's. All of that. Like. You go to McDougal's and then you just. You know, you a frozen dinner. That was a big thing. Yo, that uh, frozen dinners were huge, and especially that came back from from military, because they would eat the canteened um, food because it had all the preservatives and stuff. That kind of, okay, that kind of that makes a lot of sense, right? And That's so true. it then became something where it's like, oh, because these guys have survived, they did whatever, Damn. blah blah. Come home now, want to find a convenient way of like doing all these stuff and right. blah blah blah. Yeah, mom's no longer in the kitchen anymore because she has to be at work. Right, yeah. So here comes the, the what do you call it? The TV dinners. Mm, frozen the dinners, pizzas, all the preservation. Chicken nuggets. Yep. And tenders. Fast food, convenience, like, yeah. The beef patties don't, don't eat those. Those are gross. Those, those, those are what are called patty kings. <laughs> yeah, that's so funny. I'm like, get the real thing. So I, th sense. I think that's part of the reason why a lot of men don't have the ability to cook. I think that contributes to it. Not to say that that should be the only reason. Obviously, when you get older, you have a choice now. Like, cook or not to cook. And if you don't learn to cook, then starve. That's yeah. it. I mean, no, you... you I mean. <laughs> or actually bag yourself under many women so they can cook for you. <laughs> that's a wild... Um... <laughs> That's a wild way to solve that problem. I right? mean, that's how some people couch surf. Cr what? Hey, crouch? <laughs> couch, Cr couch? Couch surf. surf couch surf. Okay. Yes. Okay. That's how I some mean... people go about living their life. They're like, I don't have the skill myself, so I'll get it from somebody else. And I'll do it by love bombing. That's wow. Okay. Wow. Oh, no. We're going to have to. Back to this. <laughs> I'm sorry. We're, we're gonna have to I'm so sorry. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm just saying. Is it a little dark in here? <laughs> That's, uh, I mean, we're, 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 we're flying. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually hilarious, isn't it? But, uh, okay, I was going to reroute this. Now, now um, so, uh, I guess uh, men not doing, like, um, having, like, what, the, the curiosity, mm -hmm. the initiative mm -hmm, mm -hmm. to be like, hey, let me just figure this out. Let me figure out how to cook. Maybe figure out how to do my laundry. Mm -hmm. and maybe a time where uh, maybe the first couple attempts you would mess something up. But like after a while, you just you just do it. The only thing is like I know some women that like you'd be doing it, and then I guess in the video she emphasizes that if she went, "Oh, I'll do that for you." Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, the kind things. But yes, it's, yes, it's kind thing. But like, it's not really like a permanent. Thing. Yeah, like her doing somebody's laundry or cooking for the person doesn't mean it, it's an act of kindness. And there needs to be a separation of doing things out of your own volition and actual like authority of wanting to do it right. versus something that you are already obligated to do and need to do and then seen as this is an act of kindness. 
when it's not. Right. If the food doesn't get made, we starve. That's, that's, oh, it sounds a little dramatic, but, um, <laughs> that is, that's crazy. That's, but I mean, that's, so somebody was in the comments was saying crazy that she needs to explain that her husband is not her helpless child. Hmm. Well, there, there you go. And then she says, somebody else says she is right. No wife should be doing this for her husband. She is, she is his wife, not his housekeeper. I hope all, all brown girls see this. That's, uh, <laughs> yo, okay. We got to get someone. Let's qualify to talk about that because, um, ooh, okay. We, we, I'm just going to leave it at that. Mm. Leave it at that. That was, to that speak was, on that? That was interesting that comment said that. Mm -hmm. Right? I know, like, certain cultures that are very, like, like boom, it's just like, nah. Mm -hmm. I mean, for me, and as as I've recognized, especially on uh, somebody's um, story on Instagram, where they said that different people see different comments underneath videos, the algorithm changes to suit who the actual viewer is. Ooh, so. Awesome. A lot of things that I'm getting is a lot of praising towards what the what the woman was saying and the message that she gave. Right. And a lot of the comments I'm seeing are also from women. So I don't know if it's going to be different when you're looking at it and how it's perceived and what the comments are for you, um, whether it's from Wait, men or whatnot. That is actual, you know, and it is, they, they said a uh, TikTok especially yeah. mm -hmm. has a. So even though I'm sending this to you, you guys, it's like this video could be perceived as something negative and the storyline and narrative that is being shared with you is not as as exhilarating or praise worthy as what i'm seeing from the view of this woman's perspective it oh my good wait this is the second person with the same comment um uh message to mamas to teach this to their sons by spoiling their baby boys well into adulthood becomes a burden on the women they marry. Mm. So there's another woman that said, like, mm -hmm. uh, I got to get someone from that, that, um, that squad because that seems to be... Jeez, that's the second person that said that, too. Oh, okay. Specifically, like, this one there. That's the second person. Oh, okay. Right? So it's like, hmm. Now, another <sighs> comment as well by Christina... Lynn Carrington? Mm. Um, my ex-husband had his mommy do his laundry when I was super busy with work and school just to teach me that he didn't need me to do it, but I still had to find the time to do mine. Wow. I'm telling you, some people in their big hard black age still have their parents do it laundry for them. <laughs> <laughs> big hard age, big back. No, big hard back. Age. Big hard back age. I don't know why. It, okay, so I got somebody else. So I have an uh, opposition <laughs> uh, by M. M. B. Gum. Stay they in the kitchen <laughs> and stay barefoot and pregnant. <laughs> oh, is that okay? No, but oh, it, okay. it's definitely speaking on tone, not the message. It, it, but it was, hmm, if she said it in a less passive aggressive tone, I would have agreed with her. But she has a tone and demeanor that comes across as aggressive. The way she speaks and a lot of men avoid or divorce, divorce those types of women. I don't know if they are married or whatnot, but she seems to be okay in her marriage. I mean, if he wants to call her a bitch... <laughs> <laughs> then he might as well just said that. He could have said that, yeah. He could have said that. Could have said that. <laughs> so here's another one that said, "Not sure if this is as black and white as you explained." Black and white. Efficiency and core preferences and chore preferences are great reasons to share or divide up tasks among roommates okay. or partners. Conversation and honest communication is how you make sure. Uh, you're on the same page. Too much of what you describe does create a more entitled, selfish, or at least self-focused behavior. I've seen this backfire too many times. Mm. So again, people are not listening to the message. They're listening to her tone. 
and uh, watching her her behavior. Right. But it could have been that she's speaking to everybody and she's just clarifying, like, I do not do these things. I'm just letting it be known. Right. And it still works out. Our marriage is fine. It's a lot of, yeah. Like. It looks like it from the video, right? It's not really. Yo, my man said that. Well, that's not my man. But uh, <laughs> I got some aggressive yeah. and tone. Yeah. Yeah, because tone, sometimes people are very much highly affected by how the message is being delivered and not necessarily listening to the message itself. So you're saying you got to put it in like, you have to give someone butt please or rope or but like you got to, you got to. Or noise canceling earphones. Or noise. <laughs> no, 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 hold on, no. I, I, I was going to say, um, where you put like. You put the honey in like the buckwheat or rubber stuff to, like, uh, to ease in the medicine. Yes. Right? Yes. As opposed to like just rah, here's, here's stuffing it in. St stuffing it in with yeah, the yeah. buckwheat and then be like, I don't yeah. like I don't like the taste of it and everything. It's just like, yo, look, okay. Yeah, some things are just hard to digest. It is what it is. But you know, sometimes people are too focused on how it's being said instead of actually listening to what's being said. This creaking of a chair, it's gonna be. It's gonna like drive me like, <laughs> off. Like, this, this type of noise. But I was gonna say, um, see now it distracted me. I was gonna say something and then I just forgot because of the creaking. <laughs> um, but regarding, um, oh jeez, you see, if this was live, if this was live, people would be in the audience be like, what the fuck? What type of music? What's happening? What yeah, that's funny. Um. I don't know, at the end of the day, like, it just seems easier as an adult to me, I guess. Like, mm. if everyone knows how to do their own thing and you just combine together. It should, it, it, you would think it'd be two times less the work? Is that mm. Two times less the work. Don't worry about my, don't worry about my Del math. But you think it'd be less work, but then it always seems that, like, like, one person gets in more than the other and then creates an imbalance and then there's a lot of like, frowns and a lot of suffers in silence. This is true. I mean, for, for me, I think of it in a sense that everyone should just pull their part. You know, like at the end of the day, you should know how to do every part of the space. <laughs> and I think that I kind of think of my workplace like this, right? Because each of us have our specialties but we all know a little bit of something of each part of the space. So even though we can call on one person and say like, you're responsible for this because you have the expertise in this, right. we know that we can all contribute. Right, okay. And that's yeah. the part that matters, right? So I feel like the same thing comes with a marriage or a household. It's like everyone, somebody may be the, the more dominant person or who has more knowledge or access or whatever, they are more proficient in something than the other person, but both of you should be great at it or at least have some knowledge in, in the area that the other person is like absolutely a specialized person for it. You should still have knowledge. Is, is this is why I see um, certain certain demographic of people that bring their wives to the construction sites where, yeah. where they both have, um, you know, they both got the drywall mm -hmm, mm -hmm. thing all over. Mm -hmm. And I, I don't know. The, I think the vibe I get is like, um, it's either like they work for the like family company of construction or like, mm -hmm. it's like, like, if you want this dream house, uh, I'm going to need you to like grab that eight pound bag of and lift it and bring, bring it over and bring it over. Like, yeah. You, you see you want this dream house, right? Which is wild. See now that, right? okay. that is wrong. It's like hanging oh, the carrot. But how's that? Like, hanging the carrot. Oh, how's that wrong though? Hanging what the carrot. Mean? We just said. Hang in the carrot. We just said people um nah, nah, nah. should know if they if they are struggling, you should have got somebody who actually can carry that 80 pounds. So they gotta get an extra person? They should get the person. Like but the what? person that got the extra nanny? Huh? Hmm? But maybe huh? maybe she could be in the back doing the paper and the administration. What is no? <laughs> what do you mean? No. No, but you got like, the house? Yeah. No, but like, like in the thing of my example, it's just like, no, like, let's say you have to like redo, um, 
I don't want the spot lightning. Mm -hmm. like, okay, hey babes, grab a crowbar. <laughs> We're not good to the drywall. And I just yank everything out. Mm -hmm. and then, uh, is it going to be like, well, it's like, well, that's not my expertise. Yeah, she could go and pick up the materials for whatever it is you're going to change. No, 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 but I'm going to need you to like mix the mud though. And I'm going to need you to like, oh, hold on. I'm going to hold this a uh, piece of two by four here. Can you drill, drill, I mean, marking, can you drill like that hole there and there? No. Wait, I, what do we So no light can be done. So no house can be done. <laughs> that way, you really don't want the house no more if that's the case. And I think that's not fair. Like, that's not fair. That's not fair. It's not. What do you mean? Because it goes back to, like, the whole, like, that person may have a specialty in that. And, okay, prime example. Like, at my workplace, I'm the one who's great with cameras. Okay. I'm amazing when it comes to cameras, videography, Photoshop, Lightroom, a lot of Adobe products, really. Okay. Right? So whenever things are happening, the only thing is I'm not great at Illustrator. Okay. For the life of me. One of my colleagues, she's amazing. She does digital um, graphics. She does vi uh, visual um, artistry. Yes. That is her area of expertise. Right? Um, so because she has that skill set, if I was like, somebody came into the room and was like, oh, I need help with Illustrator and I need help with um, being able to put these images together and whatever, whatever, right? And she was like, okay, cool. Um, at first, she's like, oh, <laughs> do you really want this to work out? And the person's like, yeah. And she's just like, okay, cool. <laughs> so, so everyone can have some peace in here, you know? Zakia, I need you to come over here and do this and do that. And I'd be like, but I don't know. Like, this is your area. She'd be like, you're choosing violence today. If you're going to say that. Wow. <laughs> like, that's how that comes off. Where it's like, no, like, that is her expertise. Like, if she can help that person, she can do that. Cool. That's on you. The next person who comes in and if they have to do um, whatever, then it's like, I got you. I got you for the next thing. But it doesn't mean I want less or I want violence. <laughs> no, but like, I'm gonna need you like, can you get the wheelbarrow with the with the dirt and put it in the, the backyard? Because I'm gonna need that for like, no. We're setting up like a, a flower bed right now. Can you light up the, the bricks properly and then just no? But but you want this house too, right? The dream house that you want. Then I, she could probably do the inside of the house, not the outside. Oh, okay, good. So, when we see the, um, there's a little railing here, we're gonna have to, like, knock that out and put, like, a, a new style and everything. Yeah. To hand you a crowbar and be like, yeah, knock it, knock it away. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know, but, but you're saying, but you're saying it's different. Yeah, it is different. <laughs> but it's, it's definitely, less. it's definitely the hanging of the carrot. It's like, you want this, you want this, even though you're not capable, you want this. No, no, you know, just the self-help is, like, you know, TikTok and everything. I mean, so oh, that's okay. definitely something. I mean, for me, like, I definitely want a six-bedroom home, but I don't know how to knock down stuff. A six-bedroom home? Yeah, I do. Nah, like, anytime there's three rooms or more, I don't know. I don't want to be in a room where I just hear something and be like, I'm going to live in this house. <laughs> and uh, I don't know if I should get up, especially at nighttime, too. I don't know if I should get up and investigate. I don't know if I should be like, you know, these covers are going to protect me. I mean, the reason why I want a six-bedroom house is because I want four children. So, okay. So one house for me and my partner, each one for my kids, and then a guest room. Okay. So it's six. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> I'm going to have to start uh, carrying a wheelbarrow. I think at the end of the day, you might, <laughs> you might need that uh, uh, wheelbarrow. That's so funny. Um, I think we should... <laughs> Oh, that question. Oh. Who are you? Not, oh, shoot. not who are you, but like. Oh, just before, just before. Who are you? Before we, um, yes. This is the, this is a real question. It was. Who are you? It's a real one. It's a real one. It is definitely, are you, are you who you are based on your title or your skill that you mm. produce? You know? Um, so when someone says that you're, yeah, like I am. I'm a construction person. Are you a construction person because you say you're a construction person or are you a construction person because your skill shows that you are a construction person and you know how to construct things? That is a, as uh, many people have, <laughs> have terrible experiences, 
Um, there are some people that they, that put on the vest and the helmet, and they don't know Jack. Jack, <laughs> Jack shit. Like, they, don't, they don't know like like they they mess the job up. You try to contact them, the number the number is now out of service. <laughs> it's like oh okay, wow that wasn't a that wasn't wasn't of the trades, yeah. you know? Yes. Right. Yes. Or like how some like um, could anybody could somebody be like a, like a manager or something? Just <laughs> like. At the end of the year, it's like, it's a title. Like, you mm-hmm, know, even, mm-hmm. like, when, uh, we're calling these do need the back row. You're never around. Mm-hmm, you know, mm-hmm. always elsewhere. Mm-hmm, it's just like, mm-hmm. like, what are you, what are mm-hmm. you here for? Mm-hmm. Yep. Like, you're creating obstacles for no reason and everything. Yep. Looking at me in my face, blankly. Like, you know, <laughs> like, you don't know what's happening. You know Facts. Right? Yeah, man. I mean, I think a lot of people do get that, where it's like, oh, just call yourself this, just call yourself that, you know, you are this. But it's like, am I? I don't know about that. Am I this? That sounds cool to say that, but like, it should come with the the money, of course. (laughs) But not only just the money, like, prime example, when people say like, oh, they're a father. Or a mother. Ooh, oh, you go. Oh, yeah, I'm going there. Ooh, but it's like, what are you? Are you? So whether so whether you birth a child, you're not really. Oh, oh Jesus. When you birth a child, uh, it doesn't necessarily mean you're a mother. Doesn't you, necessarily mean you're a mother. And just because, like, yeah, the, the same the flip side, but your father doesn't mean you're a father. Doesn't mean your father really. Yeah. Biologically, yes, you are related. <laughs> to the to the yeah DNA wise, yes. But are you meeting the demands and responsibilities of being that um, sole caretaker for that person? You're dependent. And there's the song, the song that is no, gone in the wind. Right. So like maybe you're you may be a deadbeat parent. Mm. Sure, but. Or a thing, or a thing that's happening. I mean, there's a whole subreddit of it, but narcissist parent. Yes. Yes. It's a very like real thing apparently. Yes. It's, it's true. <clears throat> that does exist. But I mean in all fairness, you know, like I think there are some people where like they go to school and they say, Okay, I am this now not realizing there's things that you have to produce in order for you to really consider yourself that. And you gotta put in the work in. Yeah. Like if I say, Oh, I'm a teacher and I never taught in front of a class. Maybe even the concepts of like certain things, like prime example, some people would not even consider me a teacher okay. because they're like, oh, you're not in a classroom. You're not in a school. You, you're not a teacher. And I'm like, no, I'm a teacher because I teach people skills. I develop people's skills, getting them from point A to point B regularly. I have a planned session. I cultivate that stuff. I execute it. And whatever lesson we're supposed to do gets done. It's not in the school context, but I'm still a teacher. In a, in a, in a broad, um, in a broad stroke type of way. Mm-hmm. I mean, um, a pastor could be a teacher. A pastor could be a teacher. Personal trainer. Yep. Uh, like you said, um, your department mm-hmm. and like everything tech related. Um, a teacher, of course, professor. Mm-hmm. Um, what is considered a teacher? Teacher, 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 teacher. Yes, yeah, just just, just, just yeah. anyone who passes on knowledge, and especially in a structured way, right? Yeah, even um, martial artists. They yeah, the, they can be teachers. Your 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 highest the they call it the Dan system. Dan, I don't know if it's like one or only, but the belt system like your 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 mm. teachers usually like mm-hmm. like uh, six Dan, mm-hmm. and they're teaching you how to be like okay, how to get to that, get yeah, to yeah. black belt and everything. Mm-hmm. I mean. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It sounds hard. It makes it makes sense. But right. But who are you really? Who you are based on the title or because of what you do? Right. Like a lot of people call themselves rappers, but uh, that's a that's a long, that's a long one again. It's really that one is definitely a just because you spit a few bars and wrote some stuff down it doesn't mean over a really beat. Like <laughs> it really does. It really, you know, it really doesn't though. Like. Oh my god, yo. Holy. But are you a rapper though? <laughs> <laughs> that is actually an age old question, I feel. Like, but are you a rapper though? But are, right? Like, 
But are you? Jeez, man. Are you? It's, it seems like it's, there's more acts. Mm. Nothing wrong with being an act too, because some of them, some of some good acts, but mm -hmm. like, it seems like they're more of an act mm -hmm. than this one particular thing. It's like, because mm -hmm. yeah, you spin the booth sometimes, I guess, mm -hmm. but then. But are you a recording artist? Right, yeah. Have you put your stuff on a platform to push it and market it to the masses? Are you right. trying to get signed? Are you trying to be in a movie or music video or a campaign of any sort? Are you doing touring? Are you... I feel like there's so many things you have to do right, yeah. to really be considered a rapper. And even if you're not doing all that stuff, are you, like, actually really musically gifted? Like, even lyrically that, gifted? Yeah, like... You know? that part, like, like I noticed it's a lot of like club appearances and mm -hmm. the social the social media, like social media, changed the game on that because like mm -hmm. they're just showing themselves off more. Mm -hmm. But it's not really about the music. I've been hearing the same for like a little bit now. It's everything but the music mm -hmm. itself. But usually, people that are super talented about music, it really is about the music. It's just about the it's music. It's just the other. Yeah. Funny how it's flipped when. Yeah. That's why I always say keep it music all the time. Right. Because it's like, it's about the art. It's about the art, the skill of it. Not necessarily the beef behind or the social parts in the background. But just because you say you're a rapper doesn't mean you're a rapper. That's the, yeah, it's just, I don't know. Man. That's the part. Damn. That's a good question for those. Mm -hmm. Why are you saying what your title is? Yeah. Like, are you who you are because of your title or are you who you are because of what you can do? and what your skills can produce? <clears throat> That's a real question. Now, just to wrap up, um, never mind. Now, <laughs> uh, if you, uh, if you on, have any questions if, for us. Yeah, if you, if you have any <laughs> questions for us, I like blanked out that second. <laughs> uh, that whole age kicking in. And I'm like, old age. I know, man. You're adulting. It's okay. We're all adulting. This is, this is not okay. <laughs> I'm going to have to eat more brain food, as they say. Yes. They say fish. Fish. Zinc. Zinc. Maybe yeah. your vitamin D is low. I mean... Probably. That could be it. Yeah. The sun's now coming out, but as, we, as we've said, the sun has been... It's been inconsistent. I should be telling you shouldn't be tanning. <laughs> technically, technically. But, um, yeah, that's uh, but never, never mind that. Anyways, uh, <laughs> plugs. Um, yes. Is there any plugs? Of course. You can definitely find me on Instagram at the nerd Z. Um, yeah, the nerd Z with three Zs. So oh, shit. <laughs> it took me a bit. What? Oh, no. T H E N E R D Z Z Z. And you can also follow my photography page at triple Z dot studio T O Z Z Z dot S T U D I O T O. Um, definitely, if you're playing mass, come join my section. Um, we're with Revelers, Sections of Fear. They are doing amazing. Yes. Um, they just did a relaunch of their outfit so there's new pieces um like it's just amazing so if you're interested definitely check out my page you can get discount uh 10 percent off and um yeah make sure to put your deposit in see you then uh deliger uh d-e-l-n-i-j-i-r-o uh super event tiktok instagram twitter um there's some Twitter topics I saw this week. I think I'll probably bring it around next week. There's a lot of interesting things I saw that um, they don't have to be addressed here. Mm. Right. Um, oh, Unsplash as well. Uh, because uh, for some reason... Unsplash. Unsplash. Oh. Yes, 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 yes. Unsplash, yeah. Why do they call it that? Unsplash. For My brain, brain went somewhere like else. A, a photography website. That's a yeah. strange name. Unsplash? Unsplash. But yeah, you didn't... You didn't Check me out that as well. True. Um, because for some reason, if you're on Instagram, you don't really get viewed or shit like that. Yeah. They don't pass your work around. But like, a splash is just is a steady number. So, I know, I think we'll stay with that. Um, I don't want my voice sounds like rolling. It's not really the, the energy is being sat at me. Out of all of us, 
Like, uh, like, like magnesium like this in the soup. <laughs> Not the magnesium. Um, <laughs> oh, no, 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 magnesium. No, no. Magneto, y'all. Magneto. Yeah, magnesium helps with fatigue, too. No, 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 no. Um, no, no, not that. Um, uh, for Winford, we're all, uh, co hosting also not here. Uh, James at, uh, J Huntsville on Instagram. Uh, I believe Twitter as well. You said Lupiso? And, uh, yes, and Lupiso's at, uh, Twitch TV. Mm -hmm. uh, also known as Just In TV, that was a way long time ago. But True. yeah, you should be Just In TV and then Twitch. True. A lot of people, lot of people don't know that. Yeah? Mm. Um, if you have any questions, concerns, complaints, so to askthevent at gmail.com. That is A S K T H U V E N T at gmail.com. Not Jamal, gmail.com. Um, for business, especially for business inquiries, well, email only. Yeah. No Instagram business. Yeah. Don't send a link. And this is, this is a general safety in general. People be sending you links talking about like, oh, check this out. You know, Can you help me with my account? I got you, locked out. And you, you click that thing and you are logged out. Gone. Nah, man, you can't do that. <laughs> e email has the paper trail. Yeah. That's, that's, that's a gem. Listening, yeah, yeah. Um, yes, yeah. say comments, concerns, questions, cues, comments. Did I say comments already? I think I did. That was very scary. You, you kind of, <laughs> you, you kind of said it. Then said cues. I'm like cues. You said comments again. I was like, whoa. What did, did you just? Did you just say? That? Yeah, man. Make sure to send it to us, and um, we do read them. Just letting you guys know. Yeah, we, we yeah we. Like the last few. You guys were heavy in the comment section about the whole immigration and um, and and education being a free expense, and that people who are international students shouldn't pay more uh, versus domestic students. Yeah, man, you guys were in the comments heavy for that. So really appreciate it, and we want to see more of it. So keep it up. Uh, and on that note, this is the vent, and we're out. Peace. Hush, fans. <laughs>